In fish-free ponds like this, you find an abundance of plants and animal life. And where you find abundant animal life, you find predators. But many of the um, invertebrate predators in the pond who go to great lengths to keep themselves concealed. And perhaps the most extreme example is the water stick insect. And I have caught one just here. This creature is around nine centimetres in length, which remarkably makes it Europe's longest water insect. I'm just going to put him back in the pond now. Favouring deep, well-vegetated ponds, it moves slowly through the plants in search of prey. Its eyes protrude, giving this predator almost 360 degree vision. In this pond, it feeds on young newt larva. This perfectly adapted ambush hunter relies on stealth and lightning fast reactions. After prey is subdued, it moves to more dense vegetation to eat its prize. Its eyes protrude, giving this predator almost 360 degree vision. In this pond, it feeds on young newt larva. This perfectly adapted. In fish free ponds like this, you find an abundance of plants and animal life. And where you find abundant animal life, you find predators. But many of the um, invertebrate predators in the pond who go to great lengths to keep themselves concealed and perhaps the ambush hunter relies on stealth and lightning fast reactions. I'm just going to put him back in the pond now. Favouring deep, well-vegetated ponds, it moves slowly through the plants in search of prey. The most extreme example is the water stick insect, and I have caught one just here. This creature is around 9 centimetres in length, which remarkably makes it Europe's longest water insect.